So hi everyone, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Yechi here and today I am talking about like my most requested topic, my most asked question. I'm answering it in this video which is how I edit my pictures. You already know from the title. So how I edit my pictures, making it clean and all. I recently hit 500 subscribers on YouTube and 12k followers on Instagram. So I'm like why not just do what people have always wanted you to do and answer this question. So that is why I decided to film this video for you guys. I hope it's not too long but if it's too long just do that it's going to be worth every single second so not to waste much of your time let's go right into editing So the one app I use for editing is Lightroom Mobile. I use it on my phone, which is where I do most of my editing, especially during the holidays, or I do it on my laptop. My laptop is a Pixel book, so it still uses um, um, like Play Store app, so it uses Lightroom Mobile. So that's why I use both on both devices. Like the only app I use to edit my pictures, basically that's the app I use to edit my pictures, and then I take it straight to my Instagram, and I post also for my YouTube covers. That's why I use edit it also. So without wasting much time, let's go into the app. I'm going to put it on the screen. I'm going to do a screen recording and put it right beside me, okay? All right, so now that we're in Lightroom, I'm going to be editing one of my, I don't know, the pictures I really liked um, from December. I took this on my iPhone. I use an iPhone 11 in case you're wondering what device I use. Um, I always take my pictures on portrait mode and I avoid poor lighting for my pictures. So I kind of make sure my pictures are good before, um, at production level, before we go into post-production and do the whole, what's the word, editing. Yep. So I'm just going to show you guys how it is. So this is how it is in the app. Sometimes I do crop depending on or if it's more than the Instagram ratio or if it is There are some things in the picture that I don't want, but I'm really fine with this size So I'm not going to crop. So what I use to edit my pictures are presets So I'm going to show you my two favorite presets and I'm also going to show you how I do my own editing myself Yep, yeah. so I'm just going to go into presets here and I'm going to check B1 this is B1. I have two presets that I use. I use B1 and I also use the second B1 here. So these presets, I got them from Lola. She's a blogger. I'm going to drop a link to her Instagram page and also a link to the presets if they're still available for sale. And also these are the two presets I use. I do prefer the second B1 for pictures of myself and the first B1 for flat lays. Yeah, so basically this is how I use it and I just take it to my feed and all. What is really behind my Instagram feed looking good is presets. Honestly, it's just best to use presets and you don't just go around getting filters. Today I using filter from... Um, Visco tomorrow is a filter from Instagram next morning from snapchat. No try to use the same filter and after a while you start to see that your page looks uniform Yeah, so now we're just going to cancel that take it back to normal and we're going to start editing The normal way so I'm just going to show you a few things I do to like edit my pictures and make you look like ages pictures kind of yeah, so we're going to go into lights and I'm not going to tweak the exposure. I only touch the exposure when I'm done editing. When I'm done with color, light, everything, that's when I will now touch the exposure. So I'm going to drop the contrast. I normally drop my contrast to about somewhere around 30. Sometimes I do drop it really, really, really low. Maybe if it's like a selfie, I will drop it more. Then um, I'm going to drop highlights too, but not too much. I'm going to increase shadows. I always make that do that so that it kind of looks softer. You can tell the difference. Yeah. Then I'm going to reduce my white. I always reduce my white sometimes almost to like 90 minus 98. I really, really drop it. Then I'm going to um, drop my blacks. There we have a good amount of black in this picture. Black that I'm wearing on the car also. I'm just going to drop it. So the black, you can see that the black, you know, is dimming. It's going to look not like I'm wearing faded clothes. Yeah. So that is it for lights. One thing I do is my curve. So this curve here is a game changer for editing. It's always on a straight line, like diagonal, before you start. And also what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this place here. And I'm going to take it up a bit. So you can see that it's 
you can just push it until you're really comfortable with it but yeah like this then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to take it down a bit but not too much then come here and take it down further so this is what we have now so done so I have softened up the picture a bit which is what I like to do before I go into um if I go into color okay so now we're inside color and I'm just going to increase the temperature I always do that because I love that warmness I get when I reduce temperature I'm going to increase the tint I really don't like green so I'm going to increase the tint maybe sometimes I can increase it to about 11 12 but this is fine I'm going to increase the vibrance so I have a color pop except when I tweak my colors which you see later and I'm going to drop saturation so I really dropped my saturation yeah so this is not what we are working with I love my pictures quite soft honestly then I'm now going to go into colors and what I do in colors that I tweak the the, the colors that are on the picture just so you can get everything once I'm going to go into yellow and I'm going to drop drop the saturation I do not like yellow in my picture I increase the luminance at times and then I'm going to go into hue and take it more towards the orange side I think you might see the difference in the color of my hair a bit I'm going to drop the saturation further yeah then also there's this green grass behind me I'm not sure if this will affect it but yeah I hope it does I don't think it really did affect it but the green is less obvious now then we have blue so we have our clouds so I'm going to Go to this darker blue i'm going to drop the saturation of the clouds i'm going to increase the luminance so it is brighter you can take the clouds more towards you know the greenish side or take it towards you know bluish purple but i'm going to take it more towards this green side yeah so this is it for color these are the only colors i will be taking yeah for orange too that's for my skin i increase saturation just so that you know baby girl is popping and we're about that popping life <laughs> so that is it for color we're done so you can see the before and the after less green the picture is softer yeah so I go to effects and I'm going to go into vignettes I really hope that's a pronunciation yeah and I'm just going to reduce it so you can see that the corners of the picture is getting dim is getting dark so I love that because it kind of puts me in the center and it creates some kind of cinematic effect on the picture ah English <laughs> yeah so you can see how it is I don't like it to be too much because you tend to look it tends to look the pictures has to look raz yeah sometimes I increase the clarity and here we go and that is how you have a bomb ass picture yeah so that's how i did pictures of myself so with lightroom it's very easy once you have tweaked your settings and it works for you you can create a preset so let me just show you how to do that so you come to this button here and then you see create preset so you click create preset let's name um our preset 500 subscribers there we go so paste it there and now you have your preset here. So let me find another picture and show you how to apply the preset. So let me reset this picture. I don't even know what I'm looking like in this picture. Now we're going to come to presets. We're going to see 500 subscribers on the top here. That's it. So you keep doing that on the pictures you post and you see that over time your Instagram feed is starting to look better. It's starting to look professional and it's not just you posting random pictures anymore so that is part one we're going to go into part two which is a flat lay all right so we have a new picture here and this is a flat lay i'm going to try to be faster with this one because i really don't want this video to be too long so if you're following me using your device please grab it we're about to start now yeah so um first thing i do for my flat lays is, is to crop pictures of me can be like three ratio four but for flat lays i use one by one which is the instagram square not really nothing to move around and then I crop making sure that every even when I'm taking the picture I make sure that everything is within that center so I took this one using my iPhone 
and I used on portrait mode and I was beside a window so this is all natural light you're seeing here so let's start editing now this we're going to go into lights we're going to not touch exposure like I said we use the contrast but just by bits um drop the highlights increase the shadows and I'm increasing the shadow much because if you notice the sides of the product is not really showing and the whole point of product photography is for you to capture the product so I'm going to increase the shadow till you know the sides are quite visible I'm going to drop the whites as usual and I'm going to I may not tweak the black much maybe just increase it a bit so of course normal it's softer now so we're going to go straight into the curve we are going to increase here Ooh, I love this increase it some more then we're going to drop it by this side I'm going to drop it further here I'm going to increase the top a little bit more okay so this is what we have now now we're going to go into color which I hope will make a whole lot of difference so we're going to increase the temperature but not too much this tint has to increase by a good amount and then we're going to reduce the vibrance and reduce the saturation so you can see that oh now I'm going to increase this vibrance that's too much drop the saturation a whole lot more I usually have my saturation around that 20 range it's quite good there so we're now going to go into our mix this one doesn't have too many colors so we're just going to go into the basics um, orange for my hand we have to increase saturation so you can see that my hand looks more popping yep um, we're going to make it towards the red part a bit let me increase saturation a little bit more so my fingers look popping yeah I'm going to drop yellow I always drop yellow irrespective of how much but that is yellow in the picture and I don't just like you know yellow in my picture and I'm going to take it more towards a whole lot more towards the orange side for the hue this is because if you check if you can see before and after it makes the golden parts around the cap really um what's the word rose gold it makes it look rose gold so I'm going to I'm going to increase the luminance by a bit, yeah. So we have that and we are good. So um, for effects, I might just reduce clarity a bit. So it's a really soft picture. Sometimes I like to add grain. You might not really see the difference, but sometimes it does help with the flat lays a bit yeah so we're going to go back into light and i'm going to expose this baby a little bit more there you go i feel like this looks gorgeous so it's a really soft clear picture that's kind of what i like to work with yeah to edit but now that we're done with this you can see it of course you can copy your settings and paste on that picture or you can you know create a preset a preset for your flat lace too so now that we're done we're going to now try the presets i use on my flat lace so you can see why i prefer the first one for flat lace so this is you know why i the second one so this is the first one that we're working with and then we have the second one so this second one i absolutely love yes i can tweak it to for it to like look better reduce the it looks quite harsh make it softer and one thing I always do when I'm using my presets, I do tweak them a bit. So this is what we have. But like this is the one I edited. Really soft picture here. So guys, this is how I edit pictures of myself and also my flat lays. Yeah. So guys, this is the end of this short tutorial. One more thing about my picture is that I make sure it looks good at production level. So things like poor lighting, I try to avoid it. I make sure, you know, my lighting setup is good if I'm going to use any form of artificial light. But most of the time, like two pictures you saw there, I use only natural light. So I also use portrait mode on my iPhone 11 to take the pictures. It gives me some of like the best quality. Even when I'm using my camera, I tweak the settings so I can have very good pictures so make sure your pictures are good at production level before importing them into any app to work magic this app are not these apps rather are not magicians 
they just enhance what you already have so if you have an already good picture they would enhance it if you have a bad picture they will also enhance the badness of the picture yeah anyhow thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you're enjoying you know staying at home this um whole covid19 issue and um just make the most of the time that you have we i hope we never go through this phase again in life so you might never have this or be forced to stay at home ever again so i just want you to make the most of your time i'm going to drop a link in the description box that my sister made if you're going to be staying at home this period you could just check it out she shared some tips and also some tips on covid19 so thank you guys so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in my next one Bye-bye.